Hi everybody. Today we're going to have a look at the Grand California and some of the options. Recently I've done a video on the California coast and ocean uh, and what I would order uh, for my stock orders, what type of options I would add on and the reasons why. I thought I'd do the same kind of video uh, as well on the California Grand. I said in the last video it's only my opinion. Grand California is obviously very new as well so uh, I'm sure this opinion will probably change as more people actually order the vehicles and we get an indication of what seems to sell well, what doesn't sell well, what people want. But before before we get into that, uh, I thought I'd just quickly show you around the showroom. I think you might have seen some of the bits that we had uh, on some of the other videos when we put vehicles in. But we've had our launch week this week for California. Uh, so as you can see behind me, we've had some balloons up on the balcony that's here. And we've had the Grand in the showroom, which we've had videos on before. And we had a coast behind me and the ocean as well, uh, which is in there. Our Indian Grey Grand California has now arrived as well. And that's positioned straight outside the door uh, that's here. So if you come and see us, so our Indian Grey California is the one that we're going to be using uh, to demonstrate a lot more of the functionality of the vehicle uh, with, with things actually working. So we're going to get the gas bottles now for that, that vehicle. We can fill the water tanks up. We can really start to actually show you how things work rather than just being in the showroom, which we have been uh, up till now. So that's all coming soon anyway. So just thought I'd share that with you anyway. No, obviously most of you won't be in our area uh, that's here. Um, uh, well, that's fact, I get comments from people all over the all over the world but majority of, of our subscribers are in the UK anyway but probably not close to us so uh, I just thought I'd show you what we've uh, we've been doing here so uh, so let's get on to the, the ground as I said so let's have a look at some of the options uh, which I think are, are good options that's on here I've based it on the 600 uh, so looking at the grand the 600 version that's here and I'm not going to mention the upstairs bed and the simple reason being that you're either going to want that or you're not going to want that if you want to sleep for people and you want two children for example you're going to buy that as an option if you don't you know not going to buy it as an option so that's a very quick yes or no do you want that do you not want it uh, obviously if you're looking at a long wheelbase it's not even an option anyway options which i think are important or that uh, i think are really good options to have uh, lights and visions pack a uh, which is automatic lights automatic wipers it's just nice because you can leave it in automatic you never have to really play with your lights again unless you've got particularly bad weather and you need to manually do them for things like fog lights etc uh, but generally speaking you leave it in auto and you don't have to worry about it uh, and the same kind of apply for the windscreen wipers so not a huge cost on the on the vehicle but i think quite a quite a good option rear view camera uh, is a really good option i think on these vehicles uh, you get parking sensors anyway uh, that's with them uh, and you do have the function of having the park assist uh, as well with the vehicle but i think the rear view camera uh, is a really really good option uh, this vehicle's not got it but we're going to show you a picture of our indian gray one outside which does have it uh, but obviously the back of the vehicle is very big uh, the camera lives right up at the top so it gives you a nice good view of the back of the vehicle uh, so i think again not a huge cost that's on there but i think rear view camera is quite a good option next one is the awning uh, i think the awning's really good it's on the side of the vehicle here I'll be perfectly honest, I haven't actually ordered an awning on the grey one we've got outside. And that's mainly because that vehicle is going to be used, for people are going to be uh, using that uh, as, a, as a try before you buy scheme, which we do, for example, and on our rental fleet that's here. So we decided actually we'd give it a try without having a, an awning on that particular vehicle. Again, we're going to find out whether that was the right decision or wrong decision. But for stock vehicles, I would generally speaking always order an awning uh, that's on the vehicle as well. And then two other things uh, we have a look at is one is part of the awning, really, uh, but you can and can't have it, and that's to do with the lighting system on the awning so this is to do with your outside lighting strip it's a 60 pound option uh, and i think it's probably the best 60 pound you'll spend i think because it's great uh, if you're having it when you come to the vehicle uh, at night it's a really good option that's there and then finally uh, electric folding mirrors so uh, your mirrors on the side of the vehicle are quite big and again depending where you are it's just nice that you don't have to try and fold them in yourself uh, non-folding non-electric folding ones do actually move them in uh, you just give them a push that's on here and they move them back over like that but obviously electric folding ones does that already for you uh, you can just twiddle the uh, uh, the button on the inside of it and it'll do for you straight away it's just a little bit easier it's on it and again it's not a big cost so now moving on to a few options that i would order for some and some not for vehicles uh, so one's heated seats i'm quite a big i do like heated seats on vehicles uh, again it's not a big cost option i'd order them on a few stock vehicles and on a few vehicles i wouldn't order it no particular reason why it's just not a huge cost that's on those well but some people like them some people don't so i do tend to do a mix of heated seats non-heated seats uh, options on there and a similar thing as well with led headlights so on this particular vehicle this hasn't got the led headlights however our indian gray one outside does have led headlights a lot of comments on on led headlights uh, that's there as well uh, we're obviously going to be getting one on the road so we can have a drive of it with and without uh, we drive crafters a lot i think the lighting is pretty good 
uh, on the crafter anyway as a standard vehicle so it'll be interesting to see we'll, uh, we have done a video before looking at the two different uh, on transporter uh, we'll probably do that again and have a look at it between crafter with non-LED and with LEDs uh, to see what you think but as I said I order some with and some without because the LED lights is quite a considerable amount of money uh, it's over a thousand pound for LED lights uh, so if it's something you don't necessarily need obviously it's just pushing that vehicle price up uh, a little bit from on there as well and final one uh, this is one that everybody has an opinion on this is mud flaps very small option mud flaps very small option some people love mud flaps some people hate them uh, I don't seem to know anybody who's in the middle ground over mud flaps and I've no idea why I personally am quite a fan I, I like mud flaps but more so because I just I quite like the way they look on the back of a vehicle maybe that's just me I'm sure everybody will have an opinion on this uh, please pop it in the comments box below I'll be interested to hear so mud flaps again I generally for mud flaps I order on one or two vehicles depending on the color of the vehicle sometimes and generally on oceans and coasts I don't order mud flaps as an option because you can fit them aftermarket as well we can fit them at the dealership level here as well so now there's plenty of options I haven't mentioned today uh, things like for example uh, changing the heating system from gas to uh, to diesel instead uh, things like your solar panels uh, air conditioning units the long wheel bases uh, and these are all the options and there's lots of other driver packs as well which come with the vehicle um, but these are the things that we would tend to order for, for customers specific customers who want these things rather than just ordering them for stock uh, and there's reasons why and not at some point we'll do another video when we've got vehicles with these options on uh, we can have a look at them so our showroom vehicle for example has got a solar panel on the front uh, the vehicle I've ordered outside hasn't uh, so I'm sure we can do a whole video on that reason as well so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, as normal, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. It always helps as well, and you'll get those notifications then uh, if you click the little bell at the top. Uh, we'll see you next time.